Good afternoon. We are in a very picturesque place. This is the Uvelde Lake, southern Urals, not far from Chelyabinsk. We are at the recreation center, Zemchuzhina or Pearl. My name is Mitri Molchanov. I am CEO of this recreation center. This territory is protected by the law. It is a specially protected area. And it motivated us to buy this miracle machine with electric traction. Here you can only drive using the power of wind or electrical power if you are on a water surface. However, you can't use internal combustion engines. This great machine appeared on the market. I saw it not more than a year ago on the internet. I looked at the parameters, I was happy with them. I contacted Andrei Lobov. He turned out to be a person with quite a lot of experience here. They have already elaborated, developed several machines with motors. This is the doing of motor in this case. I'm not an expert in this. But I'm a practical person, and I can tell you that this is a real beast. And it came up to all of our expectations. Before buying this machine, we sent them technical specifications. What would we like to see in this machine? We use it for transporting cargoes and passengers, fishermen. Each fisherman we call them vendor sketches. They have their own weight. And they also have, what do you call it? Well, fishing equipment. A person weighs 100 kilos or so. Equipment weighs 100 kilos or so. And this machine is to take four fishermen and take them three kilometers away where they can catch fish. This is the task we had to solve. And this machine copes with it very well. We attach a sledge, an additional sledge, and there we go. This machine can pull 500 kilos, easy. When we received it, when we received the machine, what did I like? It is made on the basis of a regular husky. But the gas motor is removed from it, and an electrical motor is installed to replace it. Very easy, very simple, nothing to break. A motor, a chain, a battery, well, and the brain, the brain of the thing. And the company Steen that sold me this machine, they gave me a piece of software, how to diagnose the battery tension and how much charge is left. You just use your mobile phone. You connect via Bluetooth and you see everything, everything works really well. Same with the brain. You connect it to a computer via a cable, and that's it. Everything is very simple. I think that it is very reliable, like a dumbbell, a very reliable mechanism. We have been using it since December, since the 15th of December. Today it is the 16th of March, so it's been three months, approximately. By my estimations, we have covered about 2,000 kilometers. Well, it is quite a lot of using it. I'm not the only one to use it. We transport four to five people. And it copes really well. Now, breakdowns. Yes, we have had some. But the company has a great service. A person came here by plane from Obninsk. He disassembled it, he assembled it back, he repaired what was broken in 24 hours. And that was it. We continue using it. When we started using it, we understood that for it not to have any idle time, because, you know, it can go for three hours and then it gets charged for three hours. So we had to order another battery, because, you know, we had situations at the beginning with a battery. We missed a shot, so to speak, and we just got stuck somewhere there. And now we have bought another battery. And so it works continuously, from morning to evening all day round. As for disadvantages, I have heard that steam problem and the problem of this motor, do you know motor, it is the cooling system. It starts to heat up when there is a lot of load. When Alexander from Steen came here, he recommended installing a cooling system here. 
we examined it. I came to a special place and I bought a classical ventilator. We installed it and the problem of heating up was solved. Of course, you can't compare it to a gas one. Well, that one is 8 horsepower. This one is 10 kilowatt in the maximum mode, that is 15 horsepower. It is more powerful. The speed is adjustable, by the way, through the application. You can set it up to 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. However, it is not safe. You can hurt yourself. Now it is 40 kilometers, but it is quite scary as well. We never do it full throttle. Drive gear, the reverse gear, which is also very useful. Brakes. Well, I think that brakes are not really needed here, because our surface is really flat. As for slopes, we never go uphill or downhill, but well, let it be there. No noise, I have already mentioned that. We regularly have ecological raids here, and there was a situation. They drove to, not myself, but Sergei, the person who transports people, and they told him, are you violating rules? And he answered back to them. He said, well, actually, you are to praise us. You are to give us a diploma or something. They promised to give us a diploma at the end of the season, a letter of gratitude, because we are the first ones, not at the Slake, but in the Urals, to have such equipment. Otherwise, according to our laws, you can only drive such things here. Apart from huskies and snowmobiles, they have new developments, the so-called tuk-tuks. We got interested in the boat motor, based on the same electrical motor. I have watched a video, we placed an order to get a boat motor, to enjoy these motors in the summer as well. Well, as for the company Steen, I wish they build up their capacities, their volumes. Not to produce single products, but to have dozens, hundreds, thousands of them. They will sell well, of course, if the price is competitive. Because, again, the parameters are very good. I don't know, it is several times better, a way better than a gas motor. Huskies and similar equipment.